Hi everyone, it's just me again coming back to you because I was tagged in a kitchen gadget draw tag. I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> but so here's the story. In January, or every January, I should say, I declutter everything. And my the main focus is on the kitchen because I am a kitchen gadget hoarder. <laughs> So, anyway, I have several gadget drawers, so I'll go through them as quickly as I can. So, I did get rid of a lot of stuff, so it looks it looks a lot neater anyway. But, here's one, draw number one. So, hold on one sec. Okay, this is draw number one. Before I cleaned it out, it was to the top. Like, I had trouble shutting it. So these are my old ancient drawers. Nothing's been done on these drawers for like 60 years. So they're ancient. Anyway, so here we go. I have some tongs or thong, thongs, tongs. I don't know what they're called, but I have this one that always, that I use a, a lot, but it drives me crazy because it doesn't close. Um, I have another pair that I use all the time. These are my favorite. They're, I don't know who makes these. I got them at Kohl's and they have like the rubber tip on the end. I have my favorite knives. I got at Costco's. They come in all different shapes and sizes. <clears throat> my wooden spatulas, my potato masher, my wooden spoons, um, spatula. My spaghetti picker-upper thing. And these are the little spoons that came with the Instant Pot. This is my very most famous favorite knife. I got this, oh my god, probably 35 years ago from QVC. This thing is, ugh, it's the best. And it has a little fork thing at the end. And spatulas, more knives, ice cream scoop, <coughs> um, an herb cutter thingy, uh, some tricky pickles. Not sure you guys will use those. Spatula, one of these beater things. My my. Uh, Mother used to call these husband beaters. <laughs> uh, let's see. Melon baller. Oh, ladle, serving spoons, and stuff like that. So that's draw number one. Draw number two was my my silverware draw that I just totally reorganized. I had one of those old fashioned ones, you know, the not the old fashioned, but the normal slot kitchen utensil things and Nothing was staying in it, so I got some stuff, separate stuff. These are my favorite peelers. I got them at the Topsfield Fair. They're awesome. I love them. And ones of, um, I don't know what it's called, Julian Slicer, I guess it's called. <clears throat> that. I got another Julian Slicer. Boy, the lighting's really bad in here. I'm sorry. Um, this is... Uh, what do you call it? Church key and a bottle opener, a uh, wine bottle opener, I should say. More bottle openers, a corn husker, no, corn, you know, the thing to take the corn off the cob, one of those. Potato peeler, all my little knives, my handy spoons that always fall apart every time I pick them up. Let's see, another, another, um, Open up thingy. Let's see. Uh, what do you call it? Cookie scoop. A bunch of straws. My favorite knife. This is what I'd use to poke my potatoes. See if they're done. <laughs> and let's see. A bunch of straws. These things are good for you know shaking up shakes or whatever. I used to put them in my little smoothie. Smoothie thingies. And let's see. Some 
tons of chopsticks. And that's draw number two. Draw number three is, oh boy, more spatulas, meat thermometer or cookie thermometer thingy, not cookie, but candy. All kinds of spatulas in here. You probably can't see it, the lighting is really bad. Um, what are they called? Whiskey things, I don't know what they're called. Vitamix, spatulas, pastry brush things, a lime juicer thing, more long forks, more of these little scoopy things. This goes to my mandolin. This is part of the kitchen spritzer from Pampered Chef. Apple Corer. My cleaner thingy from my juicer. It has some skewers and a shredder. Let's see these are for cookouts or whatever. A whole drawer full of chopsticks and straws. And I don't know, this is a whatever it is. I don't know what we use it for, but we use it for something, scooping up stuff or frosting cakes or something like that. <clears throat> Little serving spoon, forks and spoons and salad tongs and all my goodies for nuts and whatever we used to use them for lobsters, but nobody eats lobsters around here anymore. <clears throat> and a little gravy boat thingy, gravy scoopy thing. cheese slicer that I don't use anymore either. This was my grandmother, so that is like really old. Let's see. I think that's all in this drawer. I actually thought I had more than I did. I got rid of a lot of stuff that we don't use. Let's see. Oh, that's just all my cups. Oops. And then in here is like the junk drawer one because I don't know where it goes. Part of my food processor, and my flex sheets for my dehydrator, and my bacon thing wrap. Bacon, whatever it's called, I don't know. Here's another ancient thing. This is this was my grandmother's. It was a garlic press. Assorted plugs for my like my griddle and stuff like that. This goes to my goes to my, what do you call it, the mandolin thing. I have a slicer. And hooks for my kitchen aid, more big spoons. And another spatula, not spatula, scoopy thing that I use when I'm canning. Uh, a strawberry slicer. Up the bottles, cans when I do some canning, which I haven't done for a while. So, uh, let's see. More of those. Some sushi, sushi wraps. I can't ever say that word. Sushi wraps. And this, this is another one that my grandma would say a husband beater. But a rolling pin. Some fennel, fennels. Fennels. Uh, let's see. A lot of little junk here and there. It's just stuff that you, you, you might use it. You don't know if you're going to use it. So you don't want to throw it out. And I think that might be out. That's all my towels and cleaning stuff. And, and here's all my canning stuff. All my lids and my... All the lids for my jars and... You know, for drinks and stuff like that. And it's all the covers and all my little little bowls. That's my junk drawer. What else in here? All this extra stuff in there. So I think that's all. This was part of my drawer that I hung up. 
I have um, a little too many measuring cups. I don't know which ones to throw away, but I use them all, believe it or not. And all that stuff I did have in drawers also, and I hung them up. So this was all part of my January decluttering the house tour, junk, whatever. So that's all. So that is my kitchen gadget, kitchen gadget, uh, whatever you call it, tag. Hi guys, I'm sorry the lighting on that tag was terrible. So anyways, I guess I was supposed to tag people for the kitchen gadget tag. So I'm going to, to tag, um, I don't know who's done it or not. So I'm going to tag Sandra from Life on Plants and Jen from Jen and Jane's Vegan Adventure and Jenny from Team Broccoli. So if you guys haven't done it yet and you feel like doing it, awesome, you are tagged. Okay. Sorry for the crappy video and the lighting was really crappy and apparently I don't know how to, I don't know what I'm, what the gadgets names are. <laughs> I guess it was too early for me to think, I'm not sure, but I was getting like all the names wrong so it's kind of comical. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.